This is absolute art. This is your palette. I would pay $30,000 for this. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and I can see that I'm on a new construction area. We are with Stephen from EJ Waterscapes. This is your personal home. Yes, correct, yeah. You can tell by the accent. We are in England. Where exactly in England are we? This is Dudley Port area. Dudley Port Bergen. area, near Bergen. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your personal residence, yeah, so it's always correct. like the cobbler's son. It's a work in progress, yeah, right? Definitely. So what do we got going on back here, buddy? Oh, nice. I got to see a fountainscape, a stack slate sphere with the fire element. So that's got to look nice at night. And this is your office? This is our office that we constructed living all over there. Oh, nice. I love it. What I love about my channel is you guys see the things the same time I see the things. And look at this. This is absolute art. This is your palette as an artist to work with. So how long has this been here? So four weeks. A month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> One yeah. month. So if you're looking and you're thinking about inspiration, so here's the office. You look at, oh, with the hands of the artist coffee table book right yeah. there. We're going to show you that in a minute. The Aquascape coffee mug. I like it. And then that sound. And not only that sound, but I am blown away that these normal terrestrial plants that you would see are growing vertical and they're already starting to flower and bloom. Where are all of these? These are all hookerous. Hookerous? Hookerous, yeah. Beautiful. We've got ferns, creeping, jenny, lots of different things. And this has there. been in for one month. Just on five or say about a month, yeah. So so you got the aqua blocks down here. Explain what you built. There's basically four aqua block reservoir in there and there's two there's three pump vault extensions, believe it or not. Because it's so deep. These rocks roughly the very, very big rocks. Mostly under the ground. Yeah, uh -huh. Definitely. You've got a rather large oak stumpery there, so then core drill holes, different pieces. A little bit of a bleed and a weep in there, a little bit of a weep in there, and on a night, this looks. Oh, because you got all the lights in. Yeah, two up lights there, one light there, we've got one light there, and another light down there. It's breathtaking. So, here's what I want to say about this. This is my kind of art. I don't pay for art that hangs on the wall, it doesn't register with me. But this, to me, I would pay $30,000 for this. What would you charge to rebuild this if you had to rebuild it on someone's house? Probably 12 to 15 grand. So, generally. less than half of what I would pay as a person because you have an artist that comes in and creates a one of a kind custom creation with the oxygen materials yeah. native plants and then sourced wood because you yeah. see this as an artist and you figure out how I'm gonna make the water flow down in the different areas and this is the art and when people are talking about pricing and how things cost you spent many many hours you didn't just appear yeah. it took you a lifetime of practice to be able to do this for yourself and now you can replicate this this is a very very traditional English courtyard I mean yeah. we probably have 30 feet by 50 feet yeah, I'm gonna do something I don't know if I should look that's the size of the yard next door. Now, what yard is more interesting? Because, by the way, this right now is going to be replicated for the rest of the property here, correct? Yeah. You just started with over in this little area around this, because this is new. You said you built your office. What? Started that in January. We've literally been doing bits and pieces. Can I look inside? Yeah. I want to see this, because it's it just... Of course, it's all a work in progress, but look at this. You got your desk, you got the hands of the artist, coffee table. Look at that. Overlooking that. We'll put a link in here if you want to get one of these. You have a project in here, don't you? Yeah. Of one of your projects. So there's Aqualand. There's my dream. And then all these beautiful projects all over. Okay. I like this. The saying. Are you going to put a pond in? No, we're going to do a pondless waterfall. Uh huh. So you're going to have mountainscapes, pondless waterfalls. And then there's going to be. Um, and your office. Oh, and you got a little aquarium. Beautiful. Very nicely done with those live plants. Look great. You got some tetras in there, huh? Yeah, loads and loads of bits. That's really. Oh, my pictures fell. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Of course, on camera. I love my job. See, these are the certified aqua. Game contractors. There's our mate, the pond advisor. You got all of your stuff. This is so fantastic. Uh, work in progress with the DJS home garden. We've got a stack slate down here and a rather large um, sphere. This is a little bit of an aqua base so it's very, very tight. But it looks really, really beautiful and nice. We've got the fire add on there as well, which looks absolutely beautiful. We've got this stunning, stunning tree fern. We purchased that probably around about a week and a half ago. There's our office where we do all our paperwork, our quoting and stuff like that. And then this is the bit that I love most in my garden. This is our living wall. We've got roughly around about 65 plants in here, all on the drip feed system. We've got a rather large oak stumpery with an LED light there. They've got little bits of weeds and little bits and pieces coming in them. They really are breathtaking. This is a four large aqua block, 10 volt and three extensions. Just due to the size of these rocks, some of these are looking about two foot deep. You have to obviously sink them in just so they're a little bit more approachable. This is where the office is. So when I do all my quotes and bits and pieces, I get to sit there and look at that and listen to it. So it's going to be a really, really beautiful job once it's all completed. We just going to take that in a little bit of time. Each 
water feature is unique, work of art, one of a kind, custom creation. But the process to build it remains the same. This is the same exact system that we would use in any fountainscape. But all of the artistic elements, this is why you get a certified aquascape counter that knows what he's doing. This is pure artwork. And the fact that it's only been in here for four weeks is incredible. If you want to see other unique, inspiring water features from all over the world, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. I love my job.